up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Forza Street, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to give you the ultimate guide, which car to pick, which class to pick, which, which car to work on, because currently, currently we have um, 67 cars available in Forza Street. And I will currently exclude McLaren, since McLaren is still going on, there's a takeover and we didn't get those cars yet and it's difficult to tell exactly which one is going to be an Epic, which one is going to be Rare. I will just focus on all the cars which are currently easily available here. Just like everything what we have here. And we will go class by class. Let's start with the first class. Let's start with the Muscle. In the Muscle class we have three Rare cars and two Epics only. That's not a lot, that's actually not a lot. I got from those three rare cars, I got them all. I got the Charger SRT Hellcat, here we go. Actually, if we go back, I hope he's, oh yeah, cool. He's actually staying with that setup. So we got the Charger SRT Hellcat, that is the only rare modern car. So if you get it, work on it. Then we got two classic cars, we got either here the um, Mustang Boss 302, or the Dodge Charger RT. One of them you should work on, it doesn't really matter, you can choose, it's always good to work on one. For example, right now I would not really waste um, those exhaust parts on the Dodge Charger RT since I already have the Ford Mustang Bot 302 on 503 points rather than 448. And then we get two Epics, one I got, it is the Dodge Challenger ST Hellcat, very nice car. Well, obviously, the moment you're getting an Epic, you should actually always work on it. However, not always, not always, and I'm telling you when exactly. So, so we got the Challenger Hellcat, and then there's one more Epic. It is a Camaro ZL1, which I'm still missing. Um, so there are two Epics currently in the Master section. If I would get both, I would b work on both of them. However, that's not always the case, and I will tell you when and where this is a different case. Okay, that is the muscle section. There are no rare retro rides. That is interesting. So whenever you get a retro ride, uh, for example, let's see, let's figure one out. Is there any? Yeah, here. The SVT Cobra Air, for example, a retro ride. If I would get it, I would work on it. Uh, man, I, I mean, I have it. I have it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should work on it because it makes sense. Um, since there is no other retro rides really, no rare ones, so whatever retro ride you're getting in the muscle section, work on it. Can be useful for any muscle events. Okay, next we're going in into street. Street is interesting. Here we only got two rare cars and one epic. From those two, I got the two. <laughs> it is one is a Ford Focus RS, both street modern. Same for the M3, the BMW M3, as well as Street Modern Right. Both of them, they're Street Modern, so it, it depends on you. You can work on both, actually. It's only two rare ones. So actually, this is what I should do at the moment. Let's do a little bit auto tune. And work on this right while he's doing that. Nice, I will need to work on the stats there next. Here we need an exhaust part, I will get that. So we got two rare ones and one epic one epic it is here the nissan skyline the nissan skyline is one epic so if it some people told me the stats are not so amazing however it is the only epic currently in the street section if you get it work on it absolutely there are no classic no rare classic rides no rare retro rides so whenever you get a classic or retro like here the ford escort is 1800 or uh, that would be a retro or a classic would be the BMW 2002 Turbo. I can either just start working on that one because there are no other ones. There are no rare ones, so you can start working on the comments. Pick one for each, don't overdo it because you want to keep your focus actually on your rare cars, which is the BMW M3 and the Ford Focus. And you want to, if you are lucky enough, keep your focus obviously on the Nissan Skyline if you get it. So don't waste too many points on the others. Then, the next section we're going in is the sports section. Uh, no, 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 sorry. The, <laughs> the super section, the super section. Here, it's uh, one of the biggest sections. Here we have six rare cars and four epics. 
from the rare cars, I got them all, I got them all. The Lamborghini Huracan, the Ford GT, the Porsche Carrera GT, the Nissan GTR, and the 911 GT2 RS. But you see, some new ones are coming in. It's actually, um, oh, I did, don't have them all. There's still the 911 GT2 RS here on the right, the, the Porsche. I don't have this one, so sorry about that. I almost got them all. And we got the, and all of those are, except for the Diablo SV, which is here all the way to the left, all of those are modern. Modern supercars. So you can you can focus on, on two of them, maybe. I would not waste any, yeah, any funds right now, for example, on the Carrera GT. I already started working on the Huracan, and I started working a little bit on the Ford GT, which almost everybody got for free with the Founders Pack when uh, for the street was released then obviously since there's only one rare retro right the diablo sv should be on your focus really unfortunately i cannot work on it anymore i need to find it a few more times because i need to increase the star level once i do this i will keep working on that on the other side there is no classic there's no rare classic right at the moment so you can choose which you want to take you can work on the 911 carrera s or here's the Miura P400 or the 904 Carrera GTS. Obviously for me, I would rather work on the Miura or the uh, 911 because both of them have the same PI level already. And yeah, here we have the McLarens. We're not focused on them now. I really hope I will get them one day. So this is about the super section. Oh, I almost forgot. There are four epics, obviously four epics, the Lamborghini Aventador, the Porsche 918 Spider, the Lamborghini Centenario and the Porsche 911. I got the Centenario through the Spotlight event. So whenever it comes up the Spotlight event with an epic, work, work, work to get this car. Obviously, the moment you're getting an epic, you should work on it. However, here comes the flip side. I would not recommend you to work on, let's say you're lucky enough, you get like three or four epics especially now with a McLaren event. I would say if you get a McLaren epic, work on it, absolutely, but then only focus on one more epic. Working on three or four epics at the same time, in the end, they all kind of balance each other out and you cannot really max out one because it's gonna t cost so much, so many funds and so much budget. And that's why you should focus on like two epics here. At the moment, it doesn't. I haven't seen so many events where really like three epics, super maxed out epics would have made sense at the moment. Even at the McLaren event, you see, you just need one or two strong cars and then you're fine. Actually, I think only one at the McLaren event since you only can use one car. So that's why um, if you get more than two epics, don't focus on the other epic. Focus on, on two epics at the moment. Don't that's currently enough for Forza Street. Then we got finally, I already teased it before. Here we got the sports section. In the sports section, we got four rare cars and two epics at the moment. So you can see here, um, yeah, you see there on the right, McLaren will join that a little bit later, but we will not focus on it at the moment. We got the Corvette Z06, which I do have, one of the strongest cars I do have currently in Epic. And we got the Viper ACR, you can see here it all the way to the right. Both of those Epics are available at the moment, e like available, <laughs> easy to obtain, no, kind of, not really, but um. Then we got um, four rare cars and I currently got all of those open ones. So we got uh, classic cars actually. We got the 300 SL and where is the 300 SL? Here, all the way to the right, we got the 300 SL and all the way to the left, we got the Corvette Stingray. Focus on one of them. You won't need them all the time, but here and there classic ride is definitely useful. And um, then we got one retro ride. We got the Ford RS Evolution. I should focus on that one, absolutely. I should work on that and actually seeing that I could actually upgrade it, let's go for it. Because that is the only rare retro ride in the sports section. So I will work on that step by step. And then we got one modern rare car. It's a BMW M4 GTS, but however, since both of those epics are modern, well, at least I know that the Corvette that the six is modern. Let's see. This one is modern too. All of those are modern. All of those which are coming actually. Um, you don't necessarily need to focus on the M4 GTS so much. If you get, obviously, if you have an Epic, focus on that one. 
Um, if you don't have the Epic, then focus obviously on the M4GTS and work on it a little bit. Oh, we can actually do this here. We can go step by step. There we go. Step by step, step by step. So, those are currently all the 67 cars available in Forza Street. Um, at the moment, it looks like the most Epics you can get in the Super section. Let's actually look at all of them. Bam. Uh, ah, beautifully designed here. Look at this filter. You know, the most uh, you can get in the super section. And after that we have, yeah, we have almost like a tie. We have muscle and we have sports. And the last one is the street section. Very difficult section with two rares and one epic. Whoo, that is tough. But yeah, you should, uh, my advice, work. If you get an epic, work on maximum two at the same time in the same section. Uh, because all of those epics are currently connected to each other, so usually they're all modern. And beside that, um, yeah, hope this you enjoyed this video a little bit. And sure, let me know down below in the comment section if you play Forza Street. That was a casual mobile gamer, and I'm out. <laughs>